Hi everybody, my name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. So in this tutorial and video, I'm going to show you and teach you how to deploy Quarkus application to Kubernetes cluster. If you haven't watched the previous series of uh, tutorial, like a part one, how to uh, testing your application and Quarkus application on your local environment, and part two, how to devolve your Quarkus application specifically if you got a nothing error or uh, no uh, exception during runtime, you gotta uh, handle uh, with the devolve uh, capability with the Quarkus framework. So I'm gonna use uh, same application continuously in this tutorial as well. So I recommend you have to watch the previous uh, video. It'll be helpful to understand uh, the the application. All right, let's get started. So Quarkus uh, provides a Kubernetes extension to generate a Kubernetes manifesto uh, based on uh, Decorate tools. Here are the two uh, extension, but only uh, you needed to generate a Kubernetes resources is a Quarkus Kubernetes extension. But if you have Quarkus container image zip extension, it'll be very helpful for developers uh, with the, uh, to build container image based on, based on Quarkus application without any container tool like a Docker CLI, uh, neither container engine like a Docker daemon. So you don't need to spin out Docker daemon or container engine on your local environment to build your container image and uh, uh, push that image into uh, external registry like a Quay.io or Docker Hub, etc. Once you have a uh, Kubernetes resources, uh, it's named a Kubernetes JSON file or a Kubernetes uh, YAML file uh, that includes all required resources such as services, service account, and deployment, etc. You just run and apply their resources on your Kubernetes cluster. So there are a lot of uh, configuration you can specify in your unified application properties in Quarkus framework. So uh, for example, you can define and specify container image group, name, tag, and also you can specify external container registry when you push your containerized application image into that registry. And you can also specify and define uh, environment variable uh, where you can uh, get or retrieve from a system environment or a secret object or even a config map. Uh, let's get uh, jump into the uh, real demo and uh, let's see how it works. All right, uh, this is the same. Uh, <clears throat> All right, this is a, uh, exactly the same example application to expose a couple of RESTful API um, that we used in the previous tutorials and demos. So, for example, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, remind quickly about uh, what application is. Uh, here is the uh, uh, the return uh, hello with the last endpoint and hello and the greeting with the parameter and raise the, uh, the last letter with the parameter. So let's try to uh, run this application with the live encoding mode, aka uh, Quarkus step mode. Just to make sure this application uh, uh, works properly. Uh, okay, the the my server is up now, and I uh, go to web browser and I uh, try to localhost eighty eighty and hello. I'm gonna make it bigger. All right, pretty much better, I guess. And greeting and Daniel. Okay, my application totally working. Okay, go back to my ID two. I'm gonna shut it down. And the uh, first thing I needed to pull my extension Kubernetes here. So go to Kubernetes extension. And I'm gonna run that application and just to make sure this uh, uh, dependency is pulled on my Maven project. Go to Palm XML. Now you will see here uh, 
Now you will see here, okay. The Quarkus Kubernetes extension is pulled down. That's awesome. And what about the, uh, just one more, uh, I'm gonna use a JIT extension as well because I don't have run any container engine <clears throat> and CLI at this moment. One more time, uh, go to extension and JIT container image and running on once again. Okay, oh, I got a, a, another extension here as dependency in the Quarkus container image zip here. Okay, that is perfect. All right, uh, I'm gonna maybe now package this application. I'm gonna skip uh, test because we already done this uh, multiple time in the previous uh, tutorial. And I'm gonna package it maybe, oh, just one more thing. I need to add the Kubernetes configuration here. Okay, I'm gonna comment uh, test port here, and here is my uh, configuration. I'm gonna use the Jeep, uh, the tool to containerize my application, and I'm gonna use uh, the JVM base image from uh, the uh, the minimal uh, Alpine Open JDK eleven, just Jerry, not whole JDK because it's a small, smaller and faster to start up. And I'm gonna build this image and a pushy image where I need to push it in my uh, the external registry Docker Hub with my credential, and I'm gonna uh, uh, sign this image name Kubernetes dash demo. All right. I'm gonna run uh, the Maven package application. Let's try to take a look at the target directory. In the meantime, you will see uh, the new Kubernetes uh, directory is generated. And you, when you go to Kubernetes directory, you can see two type of format, JSON and YAML. But the content is exactly the same. Just uh, use uh, whatever you need. Okay, let's try open the YAML here. Okay, oh, here you go. So all oh, the service account is already uh, generated and the service is already also generated and deploy how to deploy the application. So there, there is just some interesting stuff here. You can see here container image, Docker Hub, my credential name and uh, the, my, uh, the, the image name we already specified in the application portfolio, Kubernetes dash demo and the tag name is came from actually from our Palm XML. Uh, let's try to go to Palm XML here, and you will see the version here. So you can change that uh, version with the Quarkus Kubernetes version, and uh, you can specify your own version uh, attach your container image as well. All right. So just make sure uh, uh, my before I run the Kubernetes YAML file but the image already pushing into my registry, external container registry. Okay, go to, this is my Docker Hub, and I reload my credential. And now I see just a minute ago, last push it with this tag name. Oh, so the zip extension automatically containerize and push it into my uh, external container registry with my specified tag name and uh, image name that I specify and define in application profile. That is awesome because I don't even need to uh, container to or container engine in my local environment. It totally uh, save my uh, uh, resources like a memory, CPU, etc. All right. Okay, back to the my ID two, and just to make sure. Actually, uh, today I'm going to use a mini cube and mini cube and status. Okay, Minikube is running. So, uh, Bubble deployed the Kubernetes uh, resources to my Minikube, but I need to change one more thing. So, service default, you, the type is cluster IP, but I'm gonna export this uh, service uh, uh, as load balancer to access by external to make sure this application working when I try to access by RESTful API. So, one thing I need to change the load, uh, Balancer here and I save it. And uh, let's try to uh, make sure uh, the current namespace first. Current namespace. So, what is the current name? So, let's try to find out current namespace here. Oh, the Quarkus demo is already changed here. And 
Q steal, get pause, and there's nothing here. Okay, let's try to deploy my application purpose. Steal and apply minus F and target directory Kubernetes Kubernetes and demo. Okay, and then Q CTL get O. Uh, I got a already a lot of things in the Q CTL get pod. Well, already learning. Oh, fast. This one of the benefit of the Quarkus application, even using a uh, thing jar. Let's try to uh, find the log file inside the Quarkus application pod. Uh, cube CTL and logs and this pod name. Okay, the Quarkus is running up and the one on a half a second to start up and uh, the uh, Kubernetes extension already there. And cube CTL get service. Okay, uh, service is a load balancer type and expand IP pending. All right, and next thing we're gonna use the mini cube, um, uh, mini cube. Uh, so we we're gonna ex uh, 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 access the mini cube service uh, the functionality. I'm gonna run here and now automatically open your browser to access the uh, routing uh, external port to. Uh, in my service here, and this is the welcome page. Okay, go to hello. So we're gonna hello the same result and go to greeting and Daniel. Yeah, we got a Daniel and uh, last letter and like a Parker's and an S. It's the same result. Okay, so just a quick summarize of this video. So Quarkus provides the Kubernetes extension uh, to generate all Quarkus resources uh, in order to uh, deploy your Quarkus application in Kubernetes cluster. And also, if you got a uh, Quarkus Jeep extension, you don't need to as uh, container CLI container engine uh, to build your uh, application with the containerization functionality. Thank you for watching and have a good day.